गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम स्पेशल सिनेरियोज बिजनेस सिनेरियोज दैट आर यूज इन एस ए पी द फर्स्ट सिनेरियो इज स्टैंडर्ड सिनेरियो इन विच वी हैव टू जस्ट मेंटेन द परचेज इन फॉर रिकॉर्ड ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर मटीरियल विद अ बैंड वेंडर एंड सिलेक्ट द टाइप ऑफ परचेज रिकॉर्ड एज स्टैंडर्ड एंड मेंटेन इट्स कंडीशंस लाइक चेजिंग वैल्यू की इट्स क्वान्टिटी रेगुलर क्वान्टिटी मिनिमम क्वान्टिटी इट्स प्राइस विद द पर्टिकुलर वेंडर एंड सम मोर डिटेल्स आफ्टर मेंटेनिंग द परचेज इन फॉर वी वॉन्ट टू मेक अ पी ओ देन आफ्टर वेन वेन वी पुट द वेंडर एंड द हेडर लेवल इंफॉर्मेशन एक परचेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कंपनी कोट एंड परचेजिंग ग्रुप एंड वन मटेरियल एंड पुट एन एंटर इट विल पिक द प्राइस ऑटोमेटिकली एज वी हैव और द कंडीशन वी हैव मैंशन इन द परचेज इन रिकॉर्ड इट ऑटोमेटिकली पिक्स अप इन द पी ओ एंड टू सेट द स्टोरेज लोकेशन एस ऑफ द थिंग्स and then we have to save execute the po or place the po then we we have to mij that is a t code for uh, receipt and good <coughs> issue as well but in this case we want to have a good cause as we have mail the goods will come to our company premises we have to receive it so we need a mij go code for good receipt then simply copy the po from the po and paste it in the mygo screen and put enter each and every information regarding to the po will be displayed in the mygo screen now just put a tick on okay item and check whether there is an error if there is an error then it shows the error and we have you have to fix it like if you don't the storage location you have not mentioned the storage location in po then you have to mention the storage location in mygo it is mandatory to <coughs> maintain the storage location in mygo then after that you have to save the you have to post the mygo and after mygo you have to go to the mygo Miro operation is known as invoice verification means after receipt of goods you need to pay and for the payment purpose you need to have invoice verification which comes from a vendor to your company in this verification you need some fields to be ready to fill out firstly you copy the po number and then you have to set the invoice date and <coughs> tax code you have to fill if tax code is already uh, created you can fill it through it or if you want to create a tax code then ftxp is the one, one of the t code to make the tax code mostly uh, these tax codes are made by fico people because uh, it is the work uh, under fico so you have to just select the tax code whatever you have to mention and just just <coughs> or simulate it you have to mention the baseline date as well and after that you can see that if there is an error then you have to fix it if not you can see the gl account and the reconciliation account means the money from the gl account will go to the reconciliation account and from reconciliation account it will go to the vendor's own account you see the account number of accounts that how uh, this transfer of uh, money will take place uh, but before that you have to mention the total money uh, which will show you in the right corner top right corner you can see the total amount what you have to mention 
and after matching it you simulate it and there is an option if there is no error you got an option of post just post it and your invoice verification is completed after that this is the role of fi people to provide to the order. the mmp mm work is completed from here now we have certain more scenarios this is a simple standard scenario but in case there is a consignment now what is consignment consignment is the process in which the vendor will uh, give you the material in your uh, means the material of a vendor is in your own company or plant premises but you are not authorized or you can say it is not under your account it is the uh, responsibility of vendor because he puts only the material is in premises but accountability of the material is to the vendor not you <coughs> now uh in this process uh if we want to use the material from our company premises then like uh, for